From New York City, the National Broadcasting Company presents tonight. Since first premiering on September 27, 1954, there have been only four permanent hosts of the most dominant show in late night history. Welcome to tonight's show. Nice to have you all here. Conan first joined NBC in 1988 as a writer for Saturday Night Live. While rarely appearing on camera... Welcome, Mr. Hanks. Uh, Once again, congratulations on your fifth appearance. Oh, well, thank you. He also wrote for The Simpsons and has said the animated show saved him. According to this book, the monorail goes over 150 miles an hour. What if something goes wrong? What if? What if I'm taking a shower and I slip on a bar of soap? Oh my God, I'd be killed! But the comedian's big break came in 1993. I was like eating a big sandwich and they called me on the phone and said, I had this job, this is seriously true. And I'm thrilled. I mean, this is, it's something I've wanted to do all my life. Out of obscurity, he had been picked to host his own show. People have just said, be yourself, which I think is the best advice. The tall Irishman has been himself for the past 16 seasons of Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Introducing his audience to a unique cast of characters. Which of these buttons calls your parents to pick you up? Yeah, you know, in rehearsal, it was funny because we had this... At 46 years old, the comedian is now bringing his irreverent sense of humor to Hollywood. Conan Steven Spielberg on line one. Whoa. Spielberg, how are you? Yeah, hey, Speegs, what's going? (laughs) Yeah, no, I can get lunch. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I'm just doing some crap for the web. On The Tonight Show's website, O'Brien has given sneak peeks of what the show might look like. Best of luck, we'll see you June 1st. I'm having lunch with Spielberg! Steven Spielberg! (laughs) It's just a giant bathtub that they filled with cream, and I'm just going to lie in it. (laughs) Two months ago, while still packing up his studio in New York, Conan told Matt that what's funny is funny. I believe that, you know, comedy is something, if you get too cerebral, it goes away. It disappears on you, and you just have to go with your gut. I think The Tonight Show has to be uh, funny, and I think it has to be fresh. I think we want to try a lot of new things, and... I think we do that and people will be happy. For todayshow.com, this is Sarah Haynes.